what's going on every guy oh fuck i tried to say what's going on guys and what's going everybody at the same time and i ended up fucking that up what's going on everybody today we've got a tier list for uh the best types of wedgies i guess i don't know if i'm ranking this as a tier list for uh if you're receiving them or if you're giving them so um i'm just gonna kind of do them however i want uh, I am the wedgie uh, expertise. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what gives me the qualification of being the wedgie es- expertise. I, I don't think I've given anyone one, and I, I don't think I've received any. So I, I don't know exactly what makes me qualified. No need to fear, for I am here. I will be your, uh, your expert nonetheless. So, uh, anyways, uh, let's get started. First is the uh, the shared atomic. I, I don't know why this one is a picture of furries and why the other ones are just (laughs) normal pictures i'm pretty sure that one's from porn the shared atomic so for those of you who for those fucking neanderthals who don't know an atomic wedgie is when you take someone's underwear and you put it over their face um and you do that so that they can you know smell their own ass the shared atomic is not just a double atomic wedgie where you do it to two people it's where you do an atomic wedgie to two people but you swap underwears over faces all right, so they're smelling each other's anus, um, and I think this is this is a really good one. I guess if you can pull it off, the shared atomic where you're making the the nerds smell each other's ass cheeks, I feel like would be a really good one though. Uh, and I guess if they enjoyed the experience, it could maybe spark a relationship um, between the two if they like the smell of each other's booty holes. So uh, yeah, I'd have to give that one an S. Next one would be the shoulder wedgie. And, you know, I don't think this one looks too bad. I mean, that's some, that, that is an outfit that some people would probably unironically wear out in public. I don't know. I do like the shoulder wedgie, though, because it's kind of like suspenders. So, I mean, the end result kind of looks, you know, stylish, I would say. Which, if you're giving the wedgie, I guess that's not the intended purpose to make them look stylish. But, oh well, whatever it is. I think the, the shoulder wedgie is another pretty good one. I'd have to give this one... A B. First one is the front wedgie. Um, now this wedgie I think is probably the gayest wedgie that there is because you're pulling from the front. All right, if you're giving this wedgie to a guy and you have to go down into the front of his pants to pull up his underwear, it looks like you're just trying to grab his ding along dong. All right, and you don't want to be, uh, you know, going there stretching, you know, pulling for his man meat when you're just trying to get pull his underwear up. Uh, cut his balls in half and give him a wedgie, right? That's just kind of fucking gay. And if you're doing the same thing with a girl, it looks like you're reaching down there trying to pull her fucking uh, her fucking bush out. What the fuck is this shit? But either way, I just feel like this one's just kind of gay. But I mean, I guess if you're into that, I guess that's fine. Personally, it's not my thing. And I don't know, it just doesn't give quite as good results as like the shoulder and the shared atomic so i can't really give this one too high i'd have to give it a d probably at best next is hanging uh this one you can hang the nerd up like a fucking pinata so i think that's really fucking cool uh but yeah i think it's really cool if you can lift the nerd up by his underwear hang him somewhere and just kind of let him swing in there and you know who knows maybe you did bring some baseball bats and you can beat him up like a pinata unfortunately candy wouldn't come out of the nerd though it'd only be you know like blood and You know, that kind of stuff, and that's not tasty, so. Uh, But yeah, I think the hanging one is a really good one. I'd have to give this one an A. I like it just a little bit more than shoulder. Not as much as making each other, you know, two nerds sniff each other's assholes, though. Next is messy, all right? So this would be... (laughs) Hear me out here. This This is like the ultimate defense system to getting a wedgie. If you feel a bully grab in your ass to grab your underwear, the best weapon of defense poo yourself because once that bully rips up and sees that you got shit stains that bully is that that bully did not know what he was expecting that bully right now is like ah shit he shit himself that's a man right there checkmate bullies i shit myself I'll give that one a B. It's pretty funny. Next is Atomic. Like I said, I like the double Atomic because it's making the two nerds sniff each other's asses. Normal Atomic is like, hey, bro, you fucking smell. Let me show you how much you smell. I'm going to take your underwear, throw it over your face, and now you get to smell your own booty hole. I I think that's a pretty good one, all right? The atomic Wedgie has got to be one of the better ones out there, I think. <laughs> We, we kind of got spoiled right away how we got the shared Atomic Wedgie right away. We got probably the best one. Um... So yeah, Atomic right there, 
gotta give it an A. It's one of the classics. Next is the side wedgie. This one's, I mean, it gives similar results to the front wedgie, I guess. You don't get too much for results for it. The only good quality, though, is that you're going from the side, so it's not going to look as gay as trying to grab the nerds, you know, uh, two-inch pinch. I feel like the results don't really warrant it. Like, I, there's just better options to go with than the side wedgie. It's okay, I guess, but I don't know. I can't really give it anything more than a D. It's it's really not great. Next is the middle pull. Now, this is like the ultimate one, okay? Because like the only way that I can fathom that you get to the center of dem underpants to fucking pull that thing up is if you grab the taint. Like you got to be reaching down fucking in there like you're fucking plunging your arm into someone's asshole right like you, you gotta reach all the way in to the taint that's like fucking elbow deep in someone's pants grab the middle and then you gotta fucking pull up and shred that thing like a fucking chainsaw that's pretty hardcore that's pretty fucking metal all right the results they're not great uh, who cares but it it's the process of getting it done. The process of committing that fucking much and pulling that fucking hard. It, yeah, the results don't show it, but the process is so fucking respectable that you gotta love it. I gotta give the middle pull. I'll give it an, I'll give it a B just because the results aren't there, but holy fuck, do you gotta respect somebody who did a, who does a middle pull wedgie. That's pretty fucking awesome. Next, <laughs> next is a hug. I mean, hugs are nice. <laughs> You gotta love hugs. I, I, I don't know. The picture just looks kind of funny. I'll give it a B. All right. I well, I don't know what the fuck this one is. What is this? Double trouble? Oh, this one's called squeaky clean. Okay, but it looks like it looks like there's two hands uh, on either side. There's one hand on the asshole side and one hand on the pee pee side. And you take it and you you rip up. So I feel like that's a pretty good one. You could you know kind of hang someone there. I don't know. It looks fine. It kind of looks like the front and just a normal side wedgie just by itself I guess so squeaky clean I do like that you're you know kind of holding someone up like a hammock though I like that so I'll give it a b next one holy fuck what is this this one is front atomic all right so this is no more of smelling your asshole this is holy shit your dick stinks I'm gonna pull it up so that you can have you know little piss stains in your face all right, or maybe maybe coochie stains whatever it is the atomic wedgie is just one of the best wedgies there are so that's a really good one Got to give it an A. Next one is spank. <laughs> all right, so literally all of these are like you're bullying someone, except for maybe the hug. The hug, you might not be bullying some. Well, maybe, but all these are like bullying, and <laughs> this one is like sexual. I, I don't know. Ma maybe the person that you're bullying, you're like really fucking into. Th and in, in which case, this one would be an S tier, obviously. But I, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I really don't know. It, I don't know. I can't really... Put this one into two. If this one you're just trying to bully someone, I can't see it being that great. I can't give it any higher than a D, I guess. But hey, let's say you're attracted to the person that you're bullying. This one might not be too bad. This one would be an S. So I'll meet in the middle here, a spanking wedgie. I'll give a B, I guess. This one's all around. What the fuck is this picture? Bro, I feel like I'm watching an ISIS video just trying to look at this picture and even see what this is. I can't comprehend what's going on. But an all around wedgie, honestly, it just kind of looks like this. It sounds like it would be like the squeaky clean. I just can't imagine what else it would really be. I, I don't know. I gotta give it a B then. I can't give it anything higher than that. Next is ripping. Now this one, this one would be the ultimate embarrassment to the kid that, that's being bullied, to the nerd, because you get your wedgie and then your underwear isn't even strong enough to hold up your body weight. You're too fucking fat. Your underwear is weak. Your underwear, your undies are weak and you are weak. This one's an ultimate embarrassment right here. So ripping wedgie, is an F. Uh, next is going to be the classic wedgie. It's a basic wedgie. It's, it's a basic fucking wedgie. That's all there is. You're not doing anything special with it. Can't give it anything higher than a C. It's 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 a basic wedgie. I mean, nothing too special about it. Uh, and that's why there are all of these different types of wedgies, because the classic wedgie is, it's just kind of basic. You need different ways of, you know, making it happen. Now, last but not least is the chair wedgie. Uh, now, this wedgie is very similar to the hanging wedgie, all right? You take the nerd's underwear and you put it over a chair so the nerd kind of gets hung, kind of gets stuck on the chair, all right? It's a good one. It's a really good one. I got to give it right up there with hanging. 
Uh, you can't beat them like a fucking pinata afterwards, but, um, you know, at least they are, you know, they are glued to that chair for eternity. I mean, I think this is the all-encompassing list. The one thing that I do have to say afterwards is, like, I've, I, I can't remember if I've gotten a wedgie really at all, but all these wedgies really make it look like it's fucking pain for your dick. <laughs> like, it looks like the underwear would just fucking slit your balls in half and chop that dick like you're chopping a hot dog in half. Like, it, they, it really, it sounds awful. It sounds fucking awful. So, to the nerds who had to uh, withstand being wedgied, I salute you, except for the ones where your underwear ripped. The, that's just fucking embarrassing. And to the bullies who had all the creativity to uh, create all of these uh, different types of wedgies, then I salute you. Anyways, that, that that's it. So, uh, bye.